And welcome back to the Beasley Coliseum, the Pac-12 opener for both California and Washington State. Greg Heister and Angela Taylor, we were courtside for this one. An impressive effort tonight for Washington State. It was a Cal team that was depleted of some of their talent. But Washington State, you can't argue with this. They were great tonight, Angela. They really were. Again, the coaching staff has to be extremely happy with their offensive execution. And Kylan Crocker, she battled. Try to keep Cal in there as long as she could keep them in there, but they just got down early. They were playing from behind the entire game. They were. There was a lot of pressure on her shoulders. She did step up, had 11 points tonight, and a lot of things that she should be happy with. And for Washington State, Johanna Tedder, she got hot in the first half. She was into double figures by halftime and really got Washington State going offensively. Absolutely. She did it in a different way. You saw her scoring from three, attacking the rim, and getting some easy buckets. I'm really impressed with uh, the way that uh, Johanna played today. And of course, Charlize Ledger Walker, before it was all said and done, proving that if she's not one of the top couple players in the Pac-12, she's every bit as good. Yeah, what can I say? Um, she is as good at advertise. Looking forward to seeing her against Stanford on Sunday, um, which will be a challenge for her. Charlize Letcher Walker, 22 points, five rebounds, three assists. Cal, a tough shooting night. Of course, they played without Jada Curry and Delaya Daniels. Those are two big offensive weapons that head coach Charmin Smith didn't have. But Washington State, 11 of 23, 46% from the floor. Did a great job with the basketball, controlled the points in the paint, and when the dust settled, they are now 1-0 and in Pac-12 play, 9-3 and on the season, and 2021 ends for Washington State with a victory in Pac-12 play. Stanford comes to town on Sunday. Good night from Pullman.